So in this short video, I'm going to show you how to figure out which switches you should close so that only certain parts of a circuit turn on. So this question asks which switches should be closed so that only the red bulbs operate. So I just need to find the path that goes from one side of the battery through only the red bulbs and back to the other side of the battery. And whatever switches are along that path are the switches I should close. So I'll start on one side of the battery and I'll go this way through the red bulbs. I'm going to turn right there to avoid that blue bulb. Go through the other red bulb and back to the other side of the battery. So that tells me that if I close switches one and two, but leave switch three open, that I will turn on only the red bulbs. Switch three is a part of the path that has the blue and the green bulbs. So as long as I keep that open, that will keep the blue and the green bulbs off. So it's that simple. I just find the path that goes through only the things I want to turn on and I just close those switches. So let's try another one. So this question asks, which switches should be closed so that only the yellow light bulbs operate? So I'm going to start at one side of the battery and I'm going to follow the path around so that I only go through yellow light bulbs. So I can pretty quickly see that if I close switches one and three, that I will only turn on the yellow light bulbs. If I keep switch two open, then the green bulbs will not turn on. That switch two is a part of the path that contains the green bulbs. And remember, electricity goes all the way through a path or not at all. So as long as I keep switch two open, those green bulbs will stay off because it doesn't matter if the green bulbs are before or after the switch. Electricity goes through all the path or not at all. So for this question, I would close switches one and three, and that will turn on the yellow bulbs. And here is our final example question. It says, what procedure would allow only the green bulb to operate? So I'm going to just start at one side of the battery, and I'm going to go through just the green bulb and back to the other side of the batteries. So the procedure I would follow is that I would close switches one and four, and I would leave the other switches open. By following that procedure, I would turn on only the green bulb. So I hope this video helps you understand how to answer this type of circuit question. Keep up the great work. I'll see you next time.